Welcome to installment number 279 of the mitzvahs as enumerated by Maimonides the Rambam. Today we are once again discussing positive commandment 236, which discusses the laws of damages of, um, incurred by another person. And as we've been saying that really these mitzvahs are corresponding, they run parallel to Maimonides Mishneh Torah, his legal code, and uh, we are we follow the Sefer mitzvahs, which does not does not have all that type of detail, um, and therefore um, we are going back to the original mitzvahs and the Sefer mitzvahs. It only has the original mitzvah as it is um, written in the Torah. Uh, the, the, the verse that it comes from. And this verse that, that we are learning out the mitzvahs of positive relations between neighbors is learned from the mitzvah of today of damages that are incurred by another person uh, through another person uh, ruining, breaking, destroying, uh, hurting another person. And as we said, there are several different types of damages that can be inflicted be it physical damage, be it shame, be it pain, uh, be it workman's comp, if somebody misses at work, uh, and medical bills. So those are the five ways that one that a person can be losing out and the person who caused the damage must repay it. And as we said, um, you know, we are talking about neighborly uh, laws here and there are so many rules that come into play when it comes to neighbors. What is it called? What is it? Um, you know, what, what, what happens, what's the, what's the, uh, uh, result or what is the, um, consequence of one neighbor, uh, not respecting another neighbor for what other, whatever reasons they are. And of course today we can go to a Jewish court. It is not the same court that was ordained from Moses, from Moshe, but nevertheless, they do have the power to impose certain rules and fines just in the name of keeping the peace and keeping harmony in the neighborhood and as we've said um, it just goes to show how important it is to surround ourselves with the right neighbors and we are taught that one who surrounds himself with a negative neighbor or negative surrounding um, it affects him um, and of course the same goes for one who surrounds himself in a positive surrounding that it affects him as well for the better that uh, the people we surround ourselves with are uh, the sum total of who we are. And actually, um, we know that the five people we spend the most time with are the sum total of who we are. If we want to know what kind of person we are, look around at the five people we spend the most time with and think about it. Do they speak the way that we want to speak? Do they act the way we want to act? You know, are they the kind of person that we want to be? Because whether we like it or not, hanging out with them is going to automatically take effect on us and turn us into who we are. And so it is so, so vital that we make sure that we surround ourselves only with the people that we would like to best reflect us. Have a wonderful day.